got good news and bad news. Good news is that actually recorded okay. Um, for certain values of okay. Um, ow. The, lots of shitty compression artifacts. But other than that, like, it actually recorded an okay frame rate, and, you know, the game's running at full frames per second, so I'm fine with that. Ah, shit. Um, bad news, I accidentally hit cancel or something and exited the game, because there was no confirmation. So I'm back at, you know, I lost my score, but I don't really care. I wasn't going to get a high score anyway. Um... Well, maybe I would have, because I've only played t three times on Steam. This is on Steam, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So you can go ahead and buy this game on Steam if you like bullet hell games. This is one of the easiest, if you play on easy mode. One of the easiest bullet hell games. I mean, they're still reasonably difficult even on easy mode. Um, don't look at this boss, because I don't want to censor her out. Just because it will take effort. I don't want to expend. Um, but yeah, this boss looks slightly different on PS3 for certain reasons, which we won't go into. Um, ow. Not that you can really see bosses when I'm using this laser anyway. Oh my god! Okay. But yeah, the, this laser actually kind of makes it hard to figure out what's going on sometimes. Especially right around bosses, but, um... It's surprisingly easy to see bullets. I like... The bullets are really well designed, because they have clear, um... Ow. It's almost impossible to actually get through that. Um... Bullets have really clear, uh... Contours and boundaries, so it's... Pretty easy... To avoid... You know, to recognize and avoid bullets. It's a very well designed game. Though I'm still not sure how you're supposed to get through that wall of blue bullets like that. I mean, sometimes you can sneak through on when you're really lucky and you're in phase shift, but. I think it's mostly luck. I mean, I'm sure there's some super uber way to do it. My apologies, but I can't allow you to go any further. The Far East Temple Knights, they're a secret organization, said to be led by celestial beings, being responsible for millions of mysteries since the beginning of time. Naki, a Kamuni priestess, the strength of an entire division of Fire Masters, became part of the Far East Temple Knights during the Alchemical Revolution. Her main weapons are sacred treasures, the amount of surprise, and nice red uniforms drawing their power from the Matrix Master's transmutation transmu yeah, transmutation technology. Now, she stands in our way. It was clear that what we had to do, only one method of negotiation would be suitable for the situation. Shooting giant lasers in her face. Which is what we've been doing the entire time, so not sure why you bothered to bring it up, game. Way to go. Ah. Her bullets are kind of you get, you get used to how they're moving, but I guess that's the case for everything in the entire game. Level 4! Look at... Look at that! That's pathetic. Ow. Ow. Back to level 4. I'm not 100% sure how the phase level stuff works. There's probably some... Like, guy... Like, there's not much explained in the actual game itself unfortunately, but, um, ow. <laughs> like, gems, I know, affected, it may just be score? I don't know. It's all sorts of weird ways of scoring, and, um, oh god. And, uh, as Elixriel neared the spring of Yord, she found the unique sight of an upside-down tree shaking in the breeze. A clown girl was waiting patiently for her by the tree. Well, you're pretty tough, aren't you? For something so artificial, that is. Oh, snap! Hmph, <laughs> you. Now we're gonna laser your frickin' face off. This is the final boss. She has got a shitload of forms. Like, you don't even know, man. If you haven't played Bullet Hell games, you don't... You would not understand how many bosses this thing has. 
You cannot grasp the true form of how many forms she has. There must be at least ten. Which doesn't sound that much, honestly, but... Ow. I really like the music when you fight her. Which is good, because I really hate her. Ow. I especially hate a certain lotus form of her that's unpleasant. And it's coming up right now. This is one of the easier ones, actually. And I don't know how boss health works, because sometimes they seem to take be way take way less health. I think it's based on phase level, I would assume. I know phase level affects the bullets, that's for damn sure. Other than that, I don't know what phase level affects. I would assume it affects their health, but I don't know about that, because they could spawn with a different phase level, and I, I don't know. And you can kill these roses, uh, lotuses actually, and lessen the amount of bullets you can put out. If you're super elite, hardcore, epic. What health do you have? I hate you. Ow. Freaking went all that time without taking damage. This form is pretty easy to avoid if you can keep blowing up the lotus petal, the lotus blossoms. They blow up the bullets around themselves. And I wasn't supposed to pick that up. And if you don't blow up the lotus blossoms, it's almost impossible to dodge the bullets. So, blow them up. Keep in mind that this is way easier than the game normally is. Um, well, maybe not normally, but... The demonic mode, or whatever they call it. Yeah, I think it's demonic mode. It's insanely difficult compared to this. And I can't beat it, by the way. I beat... Wait, did I beat... No, I beat the first level in demonic mode. Which is more of an accomplishment than it sounds like. I was actually pretty impressed I did that. And I did that in co-op. Um, playing as the crappy character. Um, my friend, of course, died very quickly because he was a noob. He was complete noob sauce. Ow. This is one of the forms I don't care for. But it's pretty easy. I think this is the last one. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if I'm even hitting her. There we go. You don't watch where you're shooting in this game, you you kind of assume basically hold your laser in the middle of the screen you should hit him. Um, you definitely want to watch where you are not where your shots are going. You just kind of hope you're doing damage and survive. Woo! Take that. Not bad. Three months have passed since Earl and the others plunged into combat against the Matrix Lord Lotus. They managed to escape as Quayfloth collapsed, but there was something puzzling and disturbing at the bottom of the huge hole in the Spring of Yord. Even so, they didn't have time to investigate. For now, Operation Demonic Dawn has reached an end. But was the mission truly a success? No, because I... I've never gotten the true final boss in this game. Um... The only one of the Gundamonium games I've ever actually gotten the true final boss in is Hidogata Hapa. I'm pretty dang good at that one. Uh, you really should check this game out on Steam It's or on PS3. I think it's 15 bucks for the whole set. It's a trilogy of games. I think each one is 5 bucks, or that's the way it was on PS3, or maybe it's like 15 for the whole set. and. Uh, I got it on sale on Steam, so I forget what the original price is. But it's way worth it. They're really good games. And if you're good at shooters, they're really, really fun. The story makes no sense, but uh, very fun and very deep gameplay considering the game. You know, it lasted 30 minutes here, but you could spend forever trying to beat frickin' demonic mode.
In fact, I'll give you... Actually, I can't skip this. There we go. And this is our... Your ability level, I think, is how you figure... Is how you get the true final boss. I forget how it's calculated, and I really doubt... I'll be finding the true final boss. I beat the true final boss, and Hiro got a half of once. And I hate her forever. That was... That was ugly. Anyway... This has been Gun Deadly, Gleh. I might play a little more later. Oh, let's show you, um... Demonic Challenge. Well, actually... How do I go back? Well, no, I'll show you. Um, Demonic Challenge lets you fight... Um, any boss in the game... That you've beaten. I, I think you have to beat them with a certain ability level, or a certain phase level. And it lets you fight them in phase level 21, which is the max. And you get one life. And since you're only fighting the one boss, it is possible to get through with just one life. But it's really hard. It also tracks how many attempts you make versus your successes. Which gets really embarrassing when you've tried a hundred times and have never succeeded. Which I have done for the final boss of the first area, and I've never gone past that. Let's check out Demonic Mode. Phase level 21 all the time, baby. And enemies shoot bullets back at you when they die. Every frickin' time. I don't know if... I don't remember if bosses do or not. But even in, um... Even in frickin'... What's it called? Phase shift. Enemies shoot bullets back at you when they die. Like, if you stay perfectly still, they won't hit you. But odds are you're not standing perfectly still. He's got a surprising amount of t attacks you can avoid by standing perfectly still. But due to the way the game works, standing perfectly still is rarely an option. Sort of interesting trivia. And the bosses get sort of bitchy. Just a little bitchy. Hey, got her. Let's see how far I can survive. I have beaten this on level level 1 once. And even though the game's dynamic difficulty, it's locked at phase level 21. So it never gets any easier no matter how badly you're doing in demonic mode. I dare anyone to, you know, post a full playthrough on this and go... If you like, actually do get the game, go ahead and post a video response if you want. I'd love to know that people play games like this. And I really want... Since this is on Steam, I really hope Bunny Must Die ends up on Steam. I know they tried and didn't get it on Steam before. Rock and Android didn't get a version on there, and I'm not sure why. Because, I mean, they have... You know, they're an authorized re-localizer or whatever the crap publisher. Um, ow. That was bound to happen. Anyway, this is Gun Deadly... something. It's something. That it sure is. And I highly recommend it. And I died. Oh, and it... It lets you save replays and stuff, and... There's leaderboards. I don't even have a frame of context for how many points these things are. Uh, Japanese games have a tendency to omit commas when they're really necessary, like Disgaea. If there's one frickin' game where I want commas in my numerals, it's frickin' Disgaea, where you can be level 9,999 with 99 million health. How do I get out of this menu? But yeah, this game is awesome. Go buy it.